Hey guys, so one of the biggest innovations in the BMW Vision Neo in class, it's really the integration of a brand new iDrive system along with the panoramic vision. We've seen a preview of that, but now Olivier, he's gonna give us a full demo of how it works, and you're gonna see some really cool features. So Olivier, show us the demo and show us what's new in this new iDrive system. Okay, sure. So inside a BMW Vision Neo class, we have a completely new display topology based on a new center display here and our new head-up display is a panoramic vision display. So first here, it's very a unique shape we have here based on a matrix backlight technology. And it's located not too high, not too low to avoid any distraction during the use. And here we have three layer, layers. The first one is the temperature control, then we have the widget here and the map. And the map is directly integrated into the main menu. So it's something that we already have in all the BMW cars, a map-centric approach, but here it's extended because we have really the same design language. So we have really a perfect integration of the map inside the user interface. And here with the widget, you can scroll up and down. You can decide which information you want to have. And we have three different sizes, depending on the priority of the information. And as I said before, you, you can uh, configure the, the, the widget uh, completely. So basically, when you mean priority levels, like for example, you mentioned that if the battery uh, charging becomes lower or gets lower, then that becomes a higher priority for the driver. Exactly. So the information layer moves to the top, essentially, right? Exactly. So that's kind of what you mean The by same that. thing is if you need to, to find a, uh, if you want to park your car, mm -hmm. you need the information at the end of your, your journey. So you will have the information coming from the bottom to, yeah, and get more, more presence in, more in front prominent. of More prominent, yeah. Gotcha. And it's that gonna be presented just by having the layer at the top, or there is some sort of a different shade of that, let's say purple that will Well, what we want to that. have is um, to have a, a holistic experience, not okay. only based on the information that you can read on, on the screen, but also based on light. We have here a dynamic light uh, between the two dashboards, so mm -hmm. it's also, uh, sometimes it's enough when you see a change or a new light coming to your side, and, and then you see, the, do, do you understand the information? So sound, light, and information that you can read, so really holistic. Understood, perfect, okay, take it away. So. Now the temperature uh, control, really easy to use. In fact, you don't really need to look at the screen during the interaction. So you put your finger here and you see already uh, in your peripheral vision, the, the color is changing and you can adjust the temperature. So it's the first information for you. But if you want to have really 20 degrees, for example, then you can see the information really precise directly in front of you. So two way, uh, one based more or more emotional, so to say, based on light and another information really precise directly in front of you. And now we have the panoramic vision. Uh, and we have the information on a black area at the bottom of the uh, windshield to ensure uh, a perfect uh, contrast in any uh, lighting condition and situation. In front of you, you have all the information you need for your drive with the speed, range and battery information. Here on the left hand side of the steering wheel, you will have all the information, so the driving assistant function. And on, the, on this side, you will be able to configure uh, or to, 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 to manage the information you have on the middle of the uh, panoramic vision. And to configure the panoramic vision, you, uh, you, you, you can, in fact, select the information you want to have here. So with two finger, you select the widget you want to have in front of you on the panoramic vision, you bring the widget on top of the screen and you see the information directly here. Very cool. And now with the steering wheel right and left, you can uh, go through the, the menu and select uh, the person you want to, to call. So quick question. So this is kind of your new iDrive controller, yes. put it that way. Yes. And yes. essentially, is it, are you getting any, any haptic feedback yes, exactly. as well? Yeah. Okay. The idea is for you to have also an haptic feedback. So the main idea is to have always uh, eyes on the road and on the wheel. I feel the information or you see the information, but really uh, not to have any distraction by uh, interacting with the system. And it's a four directional. Exactly, up input. and down, right and left. There. Got it. Perfect. So if I select this widget, for example, then I have two. I see the, the two, uh, the line uh, divided in two parts, and now it up Scroll and down up and again. Down. Exactly, yeah. And yeah, I can uh, send several information to the head up display. So now I have the navigation to my LAN. I then bring, I bring the information on top. And now I have a guiding directly in front of me. So precise information, well, more information here on the map, but in fact, it's enough if you have the information here 
And again, same logic. Uh, or to navigate through that. Navigate. Exactly. Is this piece functional as well, or only no, that piece only right there? No, it's only on this part, gotcha. yeah. yeah. Will you be able to use maybe something like that to mimic sc uh, scrolling? Or that's not part of this integration? No, no, no. no. Gotcha. So if you want to scroll, essentially just do it on this, exactly. up and down, yeah. basically, yeah. left and, and right. And here, I don't know if you can see, but we have also some uh, uh, icon for uh, speech interaction, because mm -hmm. speech interaction will be also available. It will be probably one of the most used interaction with mm -hmm. the car in the future. And uh, yeah, it will be here available. Sure. And, all. Yeah. Yeah. and from a usability perspective, is there a reason why the screen is angled at that no. particular angle? No. It's a, really a design aspect okay, uh, okay, design to aspect. really um, to have the same de design language with the car. It's yeah. always difficult to integrate a screen, but now you have, you have seen in, with a mini, mm -hmm. uh, the circle and, and the BMW is more of its shape and uh, sure. it's, yeah. So maybe let's explain a little bit the technology, the mirroring technology of the panoramic vision. So essentially there is, it's not a projection, it's a mirroring screen that's so hidden yeah. behind right there. It's yeah. a reflection that gets displayed onto the windshield. Is that a... Yes, exactly. It's a, in fact a reflection into the windshield. The only limitation we have is the depth of the dashboard. Okay. Uh, here we have around about 120 millimeters for the information, but we use most of the time only 80 millimeters, only when you navigate into the menu. The information are sometimes bigger and then we use uh, more high. Uh, yes, but it's no distraction because, in fact, the information uh, is inside the bonnet, so to say. Gotcha. Okay, so it's kind of like... what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got it. it. I'm assuming based on the regulations, you've decided what's the height of the panoramic vision, right? So basically, there's some regulations in place that have to make sure they're in the light of vision or not above that, basically, right? Exactly, yeah. And okay. we need also to ensure that we have always enough contrast uh, also in the summer that you really see the information uh, gotcha. because it's a completely and, new technology compared to the normal head up display sure and it doesn't matter how tall or short you are basically you've tested that based on different yeah yeah heights and all of that for yes people. exactly gotcha. yeah. yeah can you split the screen in two and maybe have some information just for the driver and then the right side configurable for the passenger yeah it could be an option okay. we have enough uh, space to bring information for the co-driver, yeah. And the only way for them to interact right now with the information is really only through the tablet, basically. There is no other input on the right side. We will see. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, and then you mentioned also a little bit, maybe it's worth mentioning one of the use cases. So essentially, let, let's say if your battery depletes or starting to, to become empty, you could actually display that through that light yeah. right there yeah. all around the car. You use the, the visuals yes. to show that it's been depleted and all of that. Very interesting. Anything else that you think is like super cool in this one that everybody should know about? Like I really enjoy uh, the new interior of the car without having the strong presence of screen. It's not something that I really like, the screen. So, so it's always difficult. And here we use an existing part, the windshield, for the information. It's really cool. and here a really simple interaction so if you need to learn something then it's not perhaps a good user interface and in this case it's very intuitive and i really like the idea that to automatically enjoy the car without having to have a, a strong learning process gotcha is there any, any information overload that might show up if you have the head-up display and you have the panoramic vision can you like reduce it to like a minimum level or like layer where you only have like really basic info like yeah. speed and that's it yeah yeah we will have also uh, in the future some uh, modi uh, really reduce uh, but um, the main idea is to to will be you will be able to configure the information you want to have and you don't want to dictate too much mm -hmm. we, we will have a very open system so that you can really, in a really easy way, decide which information are relevant right now. And gotcha. uh, if you don't need any information, then enjoy. Sure. So final question. People always want to know, so it's a concept car, it's a vision car actually. Is this like really close to what you might see in production? Because we always see these futuristic features and they don't end up anywhere. How close is this one to reality? So, you know, with the vision we spoke about, you could monolithic design, mm -hmm. Uh, now we speak about monolithic design. Um, okay, we will see. Um, the panoramic vision display is 100% sure it will be part of the uh, Neuer class. Yeah, and Neuer class is not only one car. Uh, sure. so, uh, but uh, yeah, it, the okay. information I can give you right now. But Sounds stay good. tuned. <laughs> Olivier, merci beaucoup. Yeah, we merci. Think it's great. Guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you more demos from the Munich Auto Show in September.